Hello and welcome to this edition of News for the Hearing Impaired. I'm Rukma and with me is Smriti. Let's begin with our top story. As Olympic fever grips the nation, Prime Minister Narendra Modi flagged off run for Rio event at the major Dhyan Chand National Stadium in New Delhi today. India is sending its largest contingent of 119 athletes at, to the multi-sporting event that starts in Brazil on the 5th of August. Over 20,000 school children from government and private schools participated in the event. The run concluded at Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, Lodi Road. With a high-spirited note and a motivating speech, Prime Minister Narendra Modi wished the Olympic-bound players good luck. On the occasion, PM Modi also released a publication of Sports Authority of India on Indian Olympics journey, which carries interesting information on the country's Olympics achievements and preparations for the future. Continuing his trend of interacting with the masses through his radio program, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is to address the nation through Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio at 11 a.m. today. This is the 22nd edition of the Prime Minister's radio broadcast. It will be heard on the entire network of All India Radio and Doordarshan. In Odisha, at least 40 people died and around 35 were injured due to lightning in different parts of the state. While expressing solidarity with the bereaved families of the deceased, Odisha Chief Minister has directed Special Relief Commissioner to take necessary steps regarding disbursement of compensation under the revised relief code. The center will send an inter-ministerial team to assess flood damage caused by floods in Assam. Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh has emphasized on adopting a long-term measure in to tackle the flood situation. He stressed that the state government should prepare an action plan in this direction. The Home Minister assured the Assam government of all help to tackle the problem. The government has listed the GST bill for consideration and passage in Rajya Sabha's agenda for next week. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley on Saturday met Samajwadi party leaders on the matter. The union cabinet earlier this week had cleared some changes in the bill, including dropping of the 1% manufacturing tax and guaranteeing compensation for any revenue losses states may experience in the first five years of rolling out the proposed indirect tax scheme. India's stand-in opener KL Rahul played a steady knock of 75 as he remained unbeaten at stumps to put India on top against hosts West Indies on day one of the second of the four-match test series at Sabina Park in Kingston. And that brings us to the end of this edition of News for the Hearing Impaired. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.